Well, sweetheart, it's getting late. Uh, we should get home. I have to get some work done on Greenlee's case. You ready to go? No, actually, I have to stay. I have to discuss Caleb's plans for getting Cortland Electronics back. Well, I'm sworn we already handled that. Not in adequate detail. Okay, well, don't be late. I won't. Good. Mr. Cortland. <clears throat> Pete's company's gonna be back where it belongs soon enough. Caleb, have you forgotten that Palmer wanted me involved? Dorothy, have you forgotten that you resigned? I'm handling it. I don't need you. Of course you need me. Hey! I thought you took AJ home to bed. I did, but he can't sleep without his cow. I really wanted to avoid going over to JR's. Mm. Well, if you want, I'll, I'll go over there, I'll get the cow, and I'll bring it home. No, 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 I'm not afraid to face JR. Pretty soon I'll be doing it every day in court. Well, good luck. Thanks. Yeah, you never know what you're walking into over there. Yeah. Scott, no. Oh my god, wait, 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 please, please, please wait. Don't. Okay. I can't believe this is happening right now. I'm sorry. You're sorry? I don't know what else to say. Don't say anything, Annie. Just get the hell out. Wait for what, Annie? Wait for what? For you to start making excuses? Do, do you think I'm proud of myself? I don't know. Are you? I, I, I hate this. I hate what I've done. This is our room. That is our bed. I know. I know. I, I wasn't thinking. Get out! Go. That sounds like a great idea. I'm not leaving. The hell you are. I'm sorry. Scott, please, just listen. I'm so sorry. I don't want to hear it, Annie. I don't want to hear another word from your lying mouth. Yeah. You know, we should go. Scott needs some time to cool down. Leave us alone, Chair. Annie? I mean it. I want you to go. I'll be downstairs. Why don't you just go with him? I don't want to go with him. I'm sorry. I know that what, what I did was horrible and, and inexcusable. Excusable, but if you'll just let me tell you what happened. I saw what no, happened. No, but I mean before that, if I could just explain to you, please just give me one chance. Just give me one chance to explain what happened. And then you can go on hating me. in here the cocktail party happened I, I take it things got a little out of control yeah, sort of sort of look at this place what do you want Marissa AJ forgot to pack his cow and you know how he gets without him he can't sleep I'll get it no it's okay no, I got it I can find a stuffed animal JR don't go up there Put down the glasses and let's get Dad on out of here. What do you say? You, me, some colorful cocktails. Ooh, we'll be boot scoot before you know it. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I appreciate it. I really do. Not tonight. Why not tonight? I'm just... I'm not in the mood. That's why. You're not in the mood to have fun? Is that what you're telling me? That is downright pitiful. 
See, I'm being about as helpful as a trap door in a canoe, aren't I? Come on. Come on out with it. Something's eating at you. It's what is it? Marissa and AJ in this custody nightmare. It's gonna be nasty, isn't it? There's nothing worse than watching your kids struggle. I just wish I didn't know JR as well as I do. I know he is going to pull out every nasty trick in the book to keep Marissa from taking AJ. Yeah, you're right. And I hope that Caleb is focusing on helping her and not just on crushing JR. You want out? You want in? Which is it? I don't want in. I have no intention of running Cortland Electronics with you. No, you just want to tell me how to run it. You have to have it before you can run it. Soon enough. Would it kill you to admit that you need my expertise? You like this fight. What? You like this fight. JR fooled you, but he lit a fire under you. I'm just doing what needs to be done. Well, not soon enough, if you ask me. How long have you been trying to get Cortland Electronics back? Uh, Dorothy, this isn't a race. Isn't it? Listen, I know the Chandlers. I know them better than anyone. That means I'm the one who can take them on. Caleb... Your Uncle Palmer trusted me as a friend and as an equal. It's high time you did the same. Fine. Fine what? How would you go about getting Cortland back? Really? You really want to hear my advice? That's a rhetorical question. I made a mistake. Thank you for stating the obvious, Annie. I, I, I lost myself. You were gone, and, and Jr. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was, I was gone. So this is my fault. No, no. Jr. had my plane sidetracked. I know that's not what I meant. I was I trying to that. get home to you. I, you knew that. I know this is not coming out right. Because everything is wrong. I just. I had this party all, all planned. It was going to be my big night, and Jr. ruined my night. He ruined our night. You leave me out of this, Annie. He, he broke me down, Scott. He, he knew how to, how, to, how to get to me, and he, and he did. He, I, I, was, I was a mess. I was like a mess. I was a heap on the floor. What did he do? Huh? Huh? Did he sweep you off your feet? No, he, he took advantage of me, Scott, and he took advantage of this situation. What what situation, Annie? This party that was going to be my big, my big coming out party. So you sleep with the guy. You sleep with the guy who blew it all to hell. On what planet does I that know, make sense? I know this seems insane, but after JR t t tore me, tore me up and ripped me if apart. If you even say he built you back up. I was just weak. Oh. I was so weak. And if I hadn't been that weak, this never would have happened. It was just where I was at. I was in a bad place. That makes me feel so much better. Scott, you don't understand. I need you. I can't be You are my wife! I still am your wife. I love you, Annie. I love you more than I have ever loved anyone. I had faith in you when nobody else did. I trusted you. Stop talking like we're done, like this is over. I know you have faith in me, and that's why I love you. You don't love Annie. You take Whatever you want, whenever you want, and to hell with everybody else. You and Jr. are a lot alike. I don't want him. I don't care. Because I'm done. I forgave you. What? When you slept with Marissa, I forgave you. Oh. Don't make me say it again. Thanks. Do you need anything else? Why didn't you want me to go upstairs? Well, last I checked, you don't live here anymore. I heard yelling up there, a door slamming. Who's fighting? Really? Because I didn't hear anything. 
place is a war zone. Well, don't be so dramatic. And yet you insist that this is where AJ belongs. He does. This is his home. I am his father. Tell me one thing. If AJ had been here tonight, what would he have seen? Goodbye, Marissa. Well, nonetheless, you need a time out. <laughs> oh, really? I've been bad? No, I don't mean that. You know what I mean, a distraction. Preferably one with smoldering eyes and big beefy pecs. Oh. Well, the last pair of pecs that I dated ended up in the hospital. <laughs> That's true. The pair before that belonged to Tad. Yeah, but you can't give up on men just because you... you Temporarily crippled. Yeah, and, uh, and you certainly can't give up on him just because of Tad. Oh, come on, Uncle, let's face it. I am just a hot mess. Oh, no. No, you're a hot tamale. That's for sure, but a mess, no way, Jose. No, you just gotta get out there, you know, stretch your stuff. Okay. All right, fine. All right. You goody, win. Oh, goody, but goody. baby steps. Okay, I'll get somebody to cover for me tonight, but I'm going to take a rain check on the boot scoop. Well, I'll have to live with what I can get, I guess. Ooh. Ooh. Looks like you're blowing up there, Miss Hot Tamale. God, can you believe this text was sent hours ago and I'm just now getting it? I sure can. <sighs> well, come on. Who is it? Tell uh, me about his pecs. Oh, no, these, these pecs are spoken for. It's mm. Jackson. Jackson? Does he say when him and Eric are getting home? They're back. Thank you for agreeing to work for me. I need you now more than you know. All right. What's going on with JR and Annie these days? Annie was going to throw a party. All the top Chandler execs were supposed to be there. Supposed to be? What happened? Junior called it off. Nobody showed up. Well, that's terribly embarrassing. So JR obviously likes to toy with Annie, and I'm sure that irritates Scott to no end, especially now that he's actually married to that maniac. You have issues with her? Considering that she stabbed me, yes. She stabbed you? Yeah. Well, you should have pulled an axe on her. You're pretty handy with one. <sighs> well, don't think I didn't consider it. But that's not all she tried to pull in this town. I'm not interested in gossip. No, this is not gossip. This is information. This is information that we can use. Annie is both JR's and Scott's Achilles heel. And if you work her the right way, you may be surprised by the payoff. Listen, I am not here to work some trophy wife. This is business. And isn't this just so typical of a man like you? Ignoring sexual politics, underestimating sexual politics. Trust me, Annie is your golden ticket. You know what? I'll be in touch. Stay away from me. Annie. Stay away. 